Hey all, uh, this is Mike here. And okay, finally this will be the last episode of the Amazon Fire HD journey to actually um, transform this to a fully working standard Google tablet rather than the Amazon Fire OS interface. So um, in today's video, we are going to go through with you how you enable Google Assistant in your uh, Amazon Fire HD tablet as well as to remove the lock screen ads. That is annoying lock screen ad. Basically, it's not removing, it's just disabling the lock screen ad itself. So, uh, first thing you need to do is to install something from the Play Store, which is the Safe Settings Database Editor. Um, so, you need to look for SE Settings Database Editor, which is this one. So, you just need to install this. So, make sure you have this installed. Then uh, you need to install minimal fast boot ADB and fast boot in your computer. But you have followed my previous videos on uh, Google Play install installation, the uh, Nova Launcher installation, as well as the uh, widget enabling. Then you should really have the tool installed. And the next one is basically just to enable all this stuff that we have. So what do you need to do next once you have that ready? So once you have installed the setting database editor, which is the uh, here. So we'll go to the, okay, after you install the setting database editor, you should install the Google app as well. Google app, which is this. So make sure that you install this as well if you want the Google Assistant to be in place since it is available for Android 5.1 now. So just wait for the install to complete. Okay, so once you have your Google app installed and your setting database editor installed, so um, now we can move on to the computer to actually um, run the command so that you can use your setting database editor to edit some of the stuff. So let's just move on. Okay, just a reminder before you actually go and uh, do anything on the on the uh, setting database editor or the um, or the commands on your computer you it's okay i mean like it's better for you to actually load up the google app make sure all the settings are, are set up in the editor itself so they can make the changes so once that is done so what you can do next is to go to a computer and run the commands for the setup okay once we have the google app and the settings database editor installed the next thing we would need to be do, uh, be done is to run an ADB shell command to enable write settings to the setting database for us to make the changes. So just key in this command and just press on enter and that should enable write settings for your database settings editor for us to do all the tweaks needed for the tablet to work. Okay, so once you have run the uh, ADB commands, uh, so next thing you can do is open up the settings database editor and you find the voice recognition service. So it should be com google.switchdrop.com. It should be this one, right? So once you have that, you need to enter a new settings. Um, you can either do it on screen itself, but I think it's a bit too hard. So what I want to do is that I'll show you how to actually en enter that value into the via the ADB itself. So let's just move back to the computer. Please make sure that the cable is connected. Okay, after after we are done um, doing the right secure setting, the next thing we need to do is to uh, put in items or the keys inside the tablet itself in the setting database for us to do the tweaks. So um, the first one is to add in the voice inter interaction service under the secure tab. So we'll put in this ADB shell command. Once you put it in, we just put enter, it's added. Then the next thing is to actually put in the um, assistant key plus the value itself. So we'll need to change the voice interaction service to assistant. Just type in assistant and enter. And the value should be now in your settings database. So let us get back to the tablet for the rest of the setup. Okay, once you have the uh, commands run, you can open up setting database editor and like Alexa enable set to zero, if I did. 
and make sure the other the assistant it's in assistant we add in the assistants and we'll take a look at the assistants then also as well as the two voice interaction and voice recognition service is all in all the all the data is in so once that is done uh, you can actually restart your tablet via either you shut it down or restart it again or you can use ADB to restart but I would prefer to use ADB to restart so that just move on to the computer itself okay so once we have everything ready settings done then the next thing is to reboot the folder I uh, reboot the uh, tablet so I'll just do ADB reboot and the tablet will get rebooted so we'll wait for the tablet to be rebooted and go back to the setup okay so uh, once you have done the rebooting so first of all please open up your google app then after that look for the uh, tree bar located at the bottom then go to the settings so here they have voice they have google assistant settings and stuff so um, so we can go with voice and uh, just do a voice match access to voice match and I agree ok google ok google ok google ok google so finish so most probably once you have access to the voice match you can go to the settings and uh, then for the assistant to do something and just do an X and you're done right so ultimately if you take a look at it voice match is read really there so you can teach it again and stuff so but you can just leave it as it is now and you can just call okay Google as you can see it's launching up so there we go Google assistant is done so we will move on to the final part of the step is to disable the lock screen ads so now we will make sure that your cable is connected still and we'll go to the ADB minimum ADB and fast boot to do the last kind of update okay this is the last step so now we'll need to enable the right settings again for the cell setting database so just enter this statement and once that is done uh, we can actually move back to the tablet to actually set the uh, lock screen ad to disable for us to disable the, the ad itself okay thank you for bearing with me this is the last thing that we need to do so ultimately you just go to setting database editor now look for the uh, I think this time it's in global table maybe you need to look in for the lock screen thing yeah lock screen ad enable so you just tap on it edit value just set it to zero and save it so once you have saved it, this is now zero. Secure table, make sure your everything is still there. Your assistance, Alexa enable is zero. Assistance is still there. All your voice interaction service is still there, right? So once it's done, you can exit the database. And now if you close on the lock screen, and you're on it again, you should see that you don't have ads already inside this, right? So like I said, um, that is done we are done with the transforming your Amazon HD uh, Fire HD uh, Fire HD 8 tablet into a uh, full-fledged Android look and feel uh, Google look and feel Android tablet and um, if you have owned one of this and you would prefer to have the standard Android look and feel kind of uh, interface on this tablet then this just follow the steps accordingly and this is the final episodes we are done with this and let's just end it with this okay google see it's working so thank you for watching guys um if you do have any question please leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can and thanks for waiting for so long it's been a while since i made any videos and hopefully i have more times in future then i'll try to make more diy videos for all of you so thank you for watching hope to see you again soon bye